Nematodes. These microscopic, worm-like organisms play an important role in the function of soils. Most of them are beneficial to soil health, but some are significant pests in banana production and can cause severe economic losses. Plant parasitic nematodes feed on and destroy the roots of banana plants. The plants are then unable to uptake sufficient water and nutrients from the soil. Banana plants that are infested with nematodes can have choked leaves, smaller bunches with shorter fruit, and reduced anchorage which can cause plants to roll out. Different species of nematodes cause problems in different production regions. Knowing the dominant species in your region will help you choose the best management options. The best way to manage burrowing nematodes is to wrest the infested banana block from production and introduce a fallow crop. There are three key steps in this process. The first is to destroy the old banana crop. The second is to plant a non-host fallow crop. The third is to replant a banana crop using clean planting material. To destroy your old banana crop, inject glyphosate into all pseudostems and suckers that are greater than one metre. This will ensure that no suckers survive and that the pseudostems break down. Allow the plants to die, then disc the paddock. Destroy any volunteer plants as soon as possible. Ensure that all corn material is completely broken down. Nematodes can survive in a piece of corn the size of your fist for up to six months. Nematodes can live on a wide range of plants, so be sure to choose a non-host crop for the fallow planting. This will remove the nematode's food source and break its life cycle. Brassicas such as canola are suitable for short fallows to eradicate burrowing nematodes. These grow over the cooler winter months in northern Queensland. Plant in April or May to maximise the time the crop can grow, but definitely plant no later than August. Sow seed at 10 to 15 kilograms per hectare and roll the field afterwards to ensure good seed to soil contact, as this will result in better germination. Once the brassicas have flowered, disc in the cover crop. For severe nematode infestation, use successive short fallows or a longer fallow of 12 months or more. Using clean planting material is important. If you don't use clean planting material when replanting, you might reintroduce nematodes into your paddock and all your efforts in fallowing will then be wasted. Tissue culture is the safest source of planting material. However, if you choose to use bits, make sure they are free from nematodes. Use bits from an area on your farm that is known not to have nematodes, preferably a nursery block that has been established from tissue culture. Planting material can be treated to reduce nematode levels, but this will not eliminate them completely. Remember these key steps. Completely destroy the infested banana plants. Plant a non-host fallow crop and replant a banana crop using clean planting material. Don't forget to check the new plants regularly. If nematodes have returned, you will need to repeat the treatment. By applying this integrated approach, you can effectively manage burrowing nematodes.